It's mid-September and I've come here to Snowdonia, to a quiet, wild little playground off the beaten tracks on the northern side of Snowdon. My aim is to sleep on a tiny island on a small lake, high up on the tallest mountain in England and Wales. Hi you guys, I'm here in Snowdonia. I've parked right down there in the Zamberis Pass and I'm making my way up Kim Glassmauer up to a lake right up there. It's a bit windy and crazy today. It's gonna be good fun. So I think I've done the easy bit coming up here already and looking up there, it looks like it's gonna get a bit steep now, but we'll see how we go. Uh, this lake is quite high up, up at 650 meters and there is an island on the middle of it, which I'm really excited about. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to make it onto the little island and camp for the night. It looks from the pictures like there's some rocks I'll be able to sort of climb across and make it onto the island, but I don't know. I've never been here before and I'm quite excited. I think we've got a few hours till it gets dark. So I'm gonna push on, see a bit further up. So we're heading up here to this ledge here and the lake is just up there. And this here on the horizon, that's Krugok. So we're going quite high, not as high as Krugok, but high nonetheless. This is a bit scree now and a bit scrambly. Go ahead and hop there. Getting higher. We are up at 550 meters now. So 100 to go and we should be up at the lake. Um, this is pretty hard going. It's uh, fairly steep and uh, quite interesting terrain. It's good fun, but you've got to be paying attention on it. Let's go this way. And the views up here are amazing. Pretty gorgeous, so it's going to be incredible up there. Look, it's a lovely waterfall here as well. Ooh, right, let's get up there. Last push. Oh, I hate screwy stuff. I don't like it. Six hundred meters, and uh, this one is testing my fear of heights a bit more than I thought it would. But I'm alright, um, and you know, most of the ascent is done. So, a little bit further up there. Yeah, it's doing good. I am coming down a little bit. Um, this is a lot of climbing, and I feel it's beyond my capability especially with a giant rucksack on um, and it's not just getting up it it's a case of can I down climb this safely again if I need to in really bad weather in low visibility and I don't want to so I'm coming down and I'm gonna head that way a little bit and see if there's an easier route up um, yeah it's just not worth risking it All right. Have a look. This up here looks more reasonable, I think. One way to find out. I think I've nearly done it. And this lake is just behind this rise here. Let's have a look. <laughs> Well, a 
I did it. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Oh, I love it. This is incredible. Fingers. Hi. Right underneath Crib Gok. I don't think I even need to take my boots off to get across there. I might be wrong. Let's give it a go, huh? All one complete. Yeah, look. Found the inlet. Well, here I am on this tiny, beautiful little island and I cannot believe my luck with this. There is no one here. Hi, friends. Wow, it's kind of out the wind. And it's so incredibly beautiful. And I'm gonna get this tent up before it rains or something. Let's do it. Let's see what the water's like. It's really chilly. Ah! Oh, you're stinking it. Look at this view, just amazing. Right, I'm gonna get unpacked and get all cozy warm and then we'll get some dinner on. It's pretty chilly tonight. I am all warm and cozy. I've got my water, all filtered from the lake. I've got all my bed stuff out. I've got nice dry tootsies, all talcum powders, and with my lovely little down booties on. So yeah, I'm all sorted for the night. It's a bit chilly. It's eight degrees currently. It's coming up to eight o'clock, so it's gonna get dark soon. Hey, lake critter. Look what he is. Hi, lake dude. Oh. And getting up here today is pretty straightforward sort of just following the river up really. It's a lot of scrambling. There was some actual climbing that I was doing at one point. Um, that's when I decided, no, I'm not doing this. I'm gonna come back down and go a different way. In my experience, if your gut is telling you something's not right, it probably isn't right. And it was definitely the best decision to backtrack and find a different route, which was much, much easier and much less terrifying. And it got me here fine in the end, so. Yeah, and I mean this is wild camping heaven. I've never seen a pitch like it. It's just absolutely beautiful. And I'm so thrilled because I really thought there would be other people here, but there's no one. So, absolutely perfect. I've got my bedtime drinky on the go. It's an absolutely beautiful night and the stars are out. It's cloudy, but every now and again you get a clearing and you can see the Milky Way stretching above and it's so bright tonight, it's absolutely stunning. Tonight feels a little bit like a fairy tale.
could not sleep last night. to wake up to. It is pretty brisk. Seven degrees at the moment. It's been pretty chilly overnight as well. I needed warmer stuff than this really. But it's okay. I've had a few hours sleep. Summer's definitely over. Oh right. I'm gonna have some breakfast. Some coffee. Any coffee. It's so nice to be on Snowdon and it'd be so quiet. I suppose everyone keeps to the main tracks, you know. But I do feel very visible here because I am. So I'm not going to push my luck with this one. I'm going to have this and scoot off. Oh my god, I love him. Look at his horns. <laughs> so gorgeous. Hi, friend. Right. Let's get down. Thank you for having me, little island. Hi. So, there are a few reasons not to try this trip not knowing if I could actually get up there or the possibility that someone else might already be there, being away from the main paths and of course that ever-present fear of the unknown. I guess all it takes sometimes is to be the person who says, you know what, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm at least going to try. Oh, look at that. Now I'm not suggesting that things always go to plan because they don't and I'm definitely not suggesting that dragging so much camping and filming gear up to a place like this is easy because it really isn't. So for me, it comes down to one simple question. How do I want to live my life? And as it turns out, it's pretty much like this.